In the last video, we covered uh, returning. In this video, we're going to cover arguments. This is like the last thing that I got through my head when I was mastering the basics and fundamentals. This is the this is what took the longest for me. So what I'm gonna say is that arguments are really just passing information. That's what you're doing. So um, let's create a uh, let's create a function. And I, I like to use this because it's so simple to understand. Add numbers function. Number one and number two. This is one argument. This is another argument. Okay? Now, we could say uh, print number one plus number two. I'll show you other scenarios but I just like to start off with this one because it's so simple so now we can just say add numbers so now listen to this these can be named whatever we want we could name this cupcake we can name this monkey this is something that I didn't really understand at first is that I could name these whatever I wanted and just understanding that I feel like is the first step to truly understanding what this is so, but now you see, like, we're getting these little squigglies. We're getting these errors. If we run this, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be able to, it's not gonna work. It's gonna error. Because we have to name these. These are, these are just variables, essentially. Just blank variables that we haven't defined yet. But I have to name this cupcake. And I have to name this monkey. Or vice versa. I can swap them around. It doesn't have to be in the same order. So, let's say, uh, now, this is when I'm defining these variables. I'm defining Cupcake right now. Okay, what's Cupcake gonna be? 45. 45 is now Cupcake. What's Monkey gonna be? Monkey is gonna be 23. Let's, let's, uh, and then let's put this actually in a print statement. All right, so this is cupcake. This is gonna be cupcake, okay? This is going to be monkey, all right? And what just happened? Hold on a second. That's really weird. I don't know why we're getting two prints. We're getting a blank print here. So that's kind of weird. Um, oh, because we're printing this, duh. So I don't need to, <laughs> I don't need to add this in a print statement. That was goofy of me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna print that. So it, it printed, it printed our cupcake and our monkey, which is 45 and 23. Um, so let's say, Cupcake, cupcake equals 60. Let's do this. So look what we just did here. We changed our variable. We changed cupcake. We said cupcake equals 60. And now we just are left with monkey, right? So this variable doesn't even matter. So what we could do, we could say if cupcake, if cupcake is uh, less than 60 then Cupcake equals 60 Okay, and then now we can say print All right, oh well we can just We can actually just oh shoot Let's cut this And print this all right, so if cupcake is less than 60 
cupcake's gonna equal 60. Let's see what happens. And we get 83. So, let's say a uh, cupcake is 70. We get 93. So, I think I'm not really making that much sense in this, in this tutorial, because I'm just playing around, but we're passing in information. Okay, so let's screw the if statement. Screw the if statement. Cupcake is 70. Monkey is 23. Now you have to do these in order. If I were to swap these, if I were to do that 70, and I were to do 23, um, let's just print cupcake. I get 23. Because you have to put them in order. I can't just say monkey is going to be 23 because this is the first argument. Cupcake's the first argument. Monkey's the second argument. I can add in another argument. Uh, I can say string or um, word. And then I can add um, hello, I'm a word. Or this isn't really a word, but uh, whatever. I'll just do hello, I. Then what I can do is I can say print word. Hello, I. So it's really just information. You can name these anything you want to name them, OK? Um, be smart about what you name them. Don't name them. I see a lot of beginner scripters doing W. I used to do this. I used to do this. I used, I used to do O for object, P for player. Like, don't do that um, because then later on you're going to have no freaking idea what the freak you coded and you're going to have to search through your code again because I don't think most of us have photographic memories. Um, but yeah. It's really that simple though. It's really that simple. It's just passing in information. Argument one, argument two. It's just information. These are blank, it's blank too. We have to set these. Print argument two. We have to set these. So if we were to go, uh, if we were to say add numbers um, and we were just to have, um, uh, puppies if we were just to put puppies okay it's gonna come back nil and, and here's why because this is argument one it's taking this as argument one if we were to say um, puppies and then nil well it's gonna print nil because we we set it to nil um, so then we can say if if argument Two is equal to nil, then argument two equals bub. And now we get bub. So we don't even have to set this to nil. We can just leave it blank because it's going to equal nil because it's not going to exist. <clears throat> or we could say buster. So now it's gonna print Buster because we passed it in. It doesn't equal nil now because it exists. So think of arguments just as information that you're passing along. And the reason why we have arguments is so that we can pass information. Sometimes that information is going to change. Sometimes that information is, the information is not always gonna be Buster. Argument two is not always gonna be Buster. Maybe it'll be 45. Maybe it'll be um, puppies are us. We don't know what it's going to be, but maybe it's going to change. And so that's why we have arguments. That's why arguments exist, because not everything is set in stone. So, um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. Uh, I feel like it was all over the place, but I feel like we got the gist. Um, so, yeah.